So my name is Ruth Carvalho Sofia, I am Portuguese and I currently am affiliated with the Research Institute Fortis in Munich, Germany. Uh, there I lead the industrial IoT competence field. We focus on research on networking architectures and protocols and also on computational architectures for the next generation of IoT applications. My main area of work is, as, as an individual researcher, is packet-based networking, in particular network architectures and protocols. However, as leader of a team, so in 40s, I work uh, in an interdisciplinary way, so between networking and software engineering for IoT. Across the last decades in research, I think I am proud of having worked or being one of the people that has steered user centricity in networking, so pushing networking functionality closer to the end user or IoT data sources, what we call today IoT data sources. Now we all speak about user centricity, human in the loop in the context of 6G solutions. In 2008, we were working with the first generations of cellular networks, so 2G evolving towards 3G. So it is good to know that at the time I had uh, the right intuition to work on this. So what we now use as basis for decentralized edge, so all, all, all the aspects that we are focusing in edge to cloud to support decentralization of services, these were a few trends that I've started a long time ago. So I do a lot of volunteer work because I believe it helps others, in particular young, younger researchers and students, in understanding how relevant it is to, to drive research in uh, computer science, but also in networking. I had um, a very dear colleague that uh, once told me when he saw me a little bit stressed, so I'm a mom of two kids, so this meant that sometimes, because our field, in particular networking, is still a lot driven by our uh, male colleagues. So basically, I sometimes felt awkward and did not, when I was stressed in terms of schedule, I didn't want to say, okay, now I need to pick my kid or something like that. And I had a colleague telling me that in terms of time management, uh, that should also be in my schedule. So in other words, I shouldn't have two or three schedules. So meaning that uh, my different jobs, being a mom also, is also on my professional schedule. So if I, if I have to pick a kid, et cetera, that is actually organized as any other meeting that we have to do in our jobs. And it was a great advice, I think. I can clearly point at least four different persons. So Roque, who, Roque Herin, who is uh, currently at St. Louis University, Washington University. He was my PhD advisor in the USA, uh, in UPenn. He is my longtime mentor, so we keep in touch. And he has, throughout my professional career, helped me and assisted me in several things. I consider him a friend, and he has always been a reference to me, both at the professional level and at the personal level. Then I would say Christophe Dio, who is also another amazing person and colleague that I had contact on and off since the PhD. He's actually an amazing example of somebody that has done great work in the community and uh, is, is an example of humbleness and is an amazing innovator. And then I would say also Ramji Prasad. I have been working with Ramji more closely since 2021. He's an inspiration to us. He has uh, advised over 150 PhD students in networking. He has given us a lot of technical things in OFGM, in 5G. And also my dad, my mom, of course, but my dad, because he's a doctor and he's still active in his 80s, uh, he and my mom have always uh, been uh, uh, behind me, let's say. So they have always driven me, pushing me to go further when I was, when I moved to the US, when I moved to Germany and so on. So always supporting. Comsoc is where I connect because it is where I go first when I want to know something new, so for the advancement of my knowledge. And it is also uh, relevant to me because I can connect regularly with international colleagues around the globe.